Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through broad match keywords inside Google Ads. I'm going to go over what broad match keywords are, uh, the benefits and cons of using broad match, where you should use them, where you shouldn't use them, and how we go about actually finding and implementing broad match keywords in our campaign. Now, first off, what is a broad match keyword? And a broad match keyword defined by Google is a keyword match type that allows your ad to show on searches relating to the meaning of your keyword. So if there's any keyword that slightly has the same meaning as the keyword you want to go after in Google Ads and you want your ad to pop up for, broad match keywords are definitely a way to go for you. Uh, that being said, here's an example of what broad match can target. It can target absolutely anything. So here we have the example of broad match keyword, low carb diet plan. Your ads could show up for carb free foods, low carb diets, low calorie recipes, uh, Mediterranean diet books, low carb, whatever this is, that's just uh, kind of related. And this is good if you're using Google's AI to optimize. So if you have an e-commerce campaign that's absolutely massive and there's just tons of keywords that your product can convert under, uh, broad match is generally a way to go. That being said, if you're in service-based businesses and you really only want to go after a few uh, specific types of keywords, so like HVAC installation near me, uh, pool installation near me, fencing repair near me, stuff like that, broad match is really not good for you. It's going to overextend and you're going to be targeting keywords you don't want to show up for. So I recommend broad match for e-commerce campaigns that are really big. Even smaller e-commerce campaigns, I don't really see them used all that much effectively. Uh, this is because one, either there's, there's just not enough budget for a Google to actually optimize, figure out what keywords are converting, and then double down on them, or there's just not enough range of actual words that your product or service would actually convert under. So, uh, for example, if you had low carb diet plan, uh, but carb free foods wasn't something your product or service could convert under, it's just not really worth targeting. You're better off going with phrase match or exact match in that case and scenario. But broad match really allows you to target a wide range of keywords very quickly, uh, very little effort. And Google really likes recommending them because you know you can just target absolutely everything. And it really likes allowing Google's AI to optimize it for it. And if you can get Google's AI to optimize for it, you can actually have amazing results. And this is because Google's AI uh, understands that, hey, I know this keyword may not sound good, but this person is more likely to convert than you know a keyword that is uh, very relevant, like pool installation near me, just because they you know did all this stuff prior to it. And I have the knowledge behind that. We're going to target it and it's a lower cost per click for you. So you're just gonna get a whole bunch more leads provided Google's AI can optimize it. If it can't optimize for it, I would recommend not going with uh, broad match just because you're gonna burn so much money in trying to experiment on all these random keywords that yes, they can absolutely work if your AI is optimized for it, but if it's not, uh, you're really gonna have poor results. That being said, how do we go about finding and adding broad match keywords to our campaign if we choose to do so? So say uh, we want to find a whole bunch of broad match keywords, we can come up here to tools and settings which is almost under my face but it's not uh, and then we're going to come over here to the keyword planner and i already have one popped up so we can uh, pop over here we can hit discover new keywords and we're going to geo modify this right off the bat for our location so for this i'm just going to select toronto because we only want results from toronto we don't want to be targeting you know united states mexico greenland wherever we only want to go with our cities that way we have an accurate idea of what these keywords and clicks are actually converting that in our area so we're going to geo modify it for toronto a city here in canada and then we're going to type in, let's do uh, pool installation near me. And one thing I would recommend doing with broad match is using, if you're going to use them to either find new keywords or just try and optimize it through Google AI, is using longer tail keywords. And what I mean by that is actually going after words that are longer. This way, Google doesn't have as much room to maneuver and just you know spend all your money on random keywords. I would recommend going with uh, a very long tail keyword like pool installation company near me. This has one real meaning behind it and Google's not going to be as experimental as if you just put pools, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Please make your actual word if you're gonna be using broad match a little bit longer than a normal exact match or phrase match would be. And as we can see here, we have a whole bunch of keywords relating to it. And if we just put pool installation near me, chances are we're going to be popping up for all of this. So, you know, if you're selling vinyl pools and you know, you're not selling fiberglass pools, this is something that I would recommend not using. Uh, but if you just sell all types of pools and everything, you probably get away with just pool installation near me. And as we can see, top of page uh, bid, low range and the high range, six to $2. Uh, we can come through here and we could 
you literally just click on all the ones that we want to add. We could add them as broad match. We can add them as phrase match, exact match, anything we wanted to add them for. But for this one, I'm just going to give you the easy example of pool installation. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to come over to our account. I'm going to come down to our pool installation account. And then I'm going to click on the ad group I want to add this to. And we'll just put it in pool installation. We'll come down here to keywords, we'll hit search keywords, and we'll hit the big blue plus icon, and then we'll just paste this in here. And the nice thing about broad match is you don't gotta add anything around it. You can just leave it blank. You don't have to add brackets or parentheses to switch it to phrase match or exact match, as you can see down here. And once we have our keyword we wanna go after, we can just hit save, and we have saved our broad match. So now we have successfully added our broad match, as you can see here, into our campaign. And this would run if our campaign were not paused because this is a demo account. That being said, broad match is probably the best way if you're going to try and optimize through Google's AI, it just gives Google the largest ability to just try everything and figure out what works. And most of the time, Google's AI does a much better job figuring out what converts than a human does. So if you're trying to optimize through Google's AI, I would definitely recommend using broad match or at least experimenting with it. If you're in service-based campaigns, the only time I could really ever see using broad match uh, would be if you just had a massive campaign and you just needed lots and lots of search volume or you were just trying to figure out new search terms to go after, I could see you temporarily using broad match to just figure out new search terms. I think that would be acceptable as well. But for all other uh, service-based businesses, I generally don't recommend broad match. I think they're too wide and I think you're gonna burn a lot of money through it, especially if you're not optimizing for Google's AI. That being said, that's how to add broad match. That's the benefits of it. That's when to use it, that's when not to use it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.